Hello everyone, it's Fashionista Seems. And we're back with an all new mating game. Number 109, hell yeah. We have a, it looks like we have a new bachelor today. Take it away, Tink! Why, well, thank you, Untink Fart Smells. And welcome back to an all new mating game. We are returning the lovely Slender Woman Lampshade. Hello, 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 everyone. Did you like to say? I do. A new bachelor, Cooter Huckleberry. Hey, everybody, I'm here. I'm ready for some love. That good gold. Returning, Mr. Clean! Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean! Yeah! And of course, as always, in our third chair, Ed Pow! Hi, everybody. And our loving cameraman, Fred. Hello, Fred. Hi, Jack. How are you? I'm here, Fred. I, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm kind of concerned because of Crater and Mr. Clean. Now we're gonna get Mr. Clean commercials. Evil Carl's gonna be furious. I can see him coming back next week and complaining. I can see it now, Fred. It's in my dreams. He might come back or not. Alright, Slender Woman, go with your first question. Thank you, Teak. You're welcome. Bachelor number one. Yeah. <laughs> it's what raining is, on my hat. What is your favorite season? Hunting season! Rabbit season! Hunting season! Rabbit season! It's hunting season, damn it! No, I mean a spring, summer, fall, and winter. Bow. Hunting season. Okay. Bachelor number two is your favorite season. Mr. Clean! Mr. Clean! That, yeah! That's your favorite season, Mr. Clean? Spring is my favorite season, Mr. Clay! Yeah! I heard all about your Morse coats. Do you know why spring is my favorite season? Cleaning? Ah! I heard Finally it. someone gets it! I heard about your Morse coats. Yeah, he put fucking Mr. Clay in the guy's damn food like it made him, made him sick. Oh, he looks a screw. <laughs> Poor head. I feel stupid to that boy. No, that was Jeffrey. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Mr. Clean screwed Nicole and Anne and Clem almost. Oh, God, don't remind me. Bachelor ah. number three, what is your favorite season? I'd say fall's my favorite season. It's not too hot, not too cold. I'm comfortable. Ooh, good to know. Bachelor number one. Now we're going to get kind of deep into this question. Okay. Do you believe in aliens? And if so, <laughs> have you ever experienced oh, any aliens? Bruce, I seen a two-headed cat once, but I ain't never seen no alien. I do believe in them somewhat, but I ain't never seen any of them. You saw a fucking two-headed cat? I sure did. Got a picture of it? I'll send it to you later. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. I want to see the two-headed cat. I'm sorry, said the woman. I want to see two. <laughs> <coughs> Bachelor number two. Mr. Clean! Mr. Clean! Yeah! Do you believe in aliens? And if so, have you ever experienced anything with aliens? Mr. Clean! Fred? I don't want to scare the pageant shirt off of me. It's raining hail. It's thunderstorming! Oh no. Oh. Mr. Clean does not believe in aliens! Okay. Bachelor number three, do you believe in aliens? And if oh. so, have you ever experienced any aliens? Oh. Uh, I have. I've been abducted several times. That's how I got to be pregnant with Ed Jr. He's just like me, but he's blue. Oh hell no! Get your ass out of my goddamn ass, screaming motherfucker! Mr. Clean! Yeah! Come on, Mr. Clean, you're a fucking ass, you little piece of shit. That my fucking chart. Now the goddamn ass crew's messed up! I'm sorry, Slender Woman. I'm gonna whoop your damn ass, you little motherfucker. Ah, oh, you very scared! 
You stay for there in hell. You set your ass fucking down, you. <laughs> oh my god, Fred. What the hell's my swimming? Swim They're swimming fast, too. I was trying to get the hell out of the water. Bachelor number one. Yeah. <laughs> Would you please go screw you on the fucking headache? Duh. It's his fault he started shit hell. No, oh, no. Uh, Would you uh, shut uh, up, uh, hell? Uh, I'm down. It's all right. It's rain. It happens. Bet you when you fuck it outside, no goddamn rain. Now shut down. Damn that's aliens. That's for number one. <laughs> yeah. What kind of house would you like to live in whenever you get married? A trailer. I have a trailer now and I'll have a trailer then. Bachelor number two. Mr. Clean! Mr. Clean! Yeah! What kind of house would you like to live in when you're married? Watch out, Jake! Oh, I'm looking, Fred. A condo! Ooh, nice. Bachelor number three. Oh, excuse me, yes. What kind of house would you like to live in when you're married? I don't know if I'm ever gonna be married, but I think I like to live in at least a two or three bedroom, nice little ranch, or maybe a uh uh what do they call it? Maybe a cabin. I'd like to live in a cabin. That'd be cool. Hmm. Bachelor number one. Yeah. What scares you the most? Three-legged dog. <laughs> what the hell would a three-legged dog scare you? Maybe the hell no. These motherfuckers on fucking some kind of damn drugs. I just know it. Bachelor number two. Mr. Clean! Mr. Clean! Yeah! What scares you the most? Dirt! Oh my gosh, your voice got growly then. Sure did. Oh my goodness. Splinter? That's one number three. What scares you the most? No more I am! Oh god, if a big redan! Oh god, I couldn't take it! Oh! Oh my god! The memory should be awful! Am I am bad? <laughs> Bachelor number one. Yeah. What is your turn on? Hunting, fishing, beer. Duh. That's my turn on. Well, that's close, man. <laughs> Bachelor number two, what is your turn on? Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean! Oh, yeah! Uh, Mr. Clean never freaks out, he just sits there. Do you, do you turn yourself on? Cleaning turns me on. <laughs> oh, that figures. Bachelor number three, what is your turn on? I am or sausage. Good looking woman, I'd say. And you are a beautiful slender woman, so you know. You are definitely turn on. You. Oh, you're welcome, honey. Bachelor number one. Yep. What is your turn off? A buck teeth woman smoking a damn big old fat cigar. Oh hell! What the hell? Um. Okay. Bachelor number two, what is your turn off? Mr. Clean! Mr. Clean! Yeah! Wait, so you're a turn off to yourself and a turn on? No! I always sing that. My turn offs are filthiness! <laughs> Ooh. Now, some people like it filthy, I hear. I sell my foot skin for forty five dollars. I do a video and peel my tea for you to watch. Who the hell? Oh Mr. my Queen? god. Uh, Mr. Queen's confused. Ooh? Ooh. I think he's disturbed. I can tell I'm you disgusted! Bachelor number three, what is your turn off? Turn offs. Fucking peeling ass foot skin. Oh my god. That's a nasty. Why would you people do that? I mean, really, it's not a turn on. 
It's some nasty shit. And fly man is live and he stinks like fucking hell. Mm. That's your number one. Yeah. <laughs> Where would you take me on our, on our first date? I'd take you to haters. Oh. Okay. That's our number two. Where would you take me on our first date? Mr. Clean! Mr. Clean! Yeah! You take me to you? I would take you to a maid seminar! You can learn how to clean! Yeah! That's boring as hell. She's too pretty at clean shit. She needs a maid, hell. Well, I have made. I figured you did. That's our number three. Yes, ma'am. Where would you take me on our first date? I'd definitely take you somewhere very nice. Probably Applebee's all you can eat ribs. Ooh, sounds exciting. Yeah, Fred, there's someone out there on a fucking sailboat. Sail, sail, sail your boat gently down the ocean. You deserve to be fucking struck by like you gosh damn idiot. Hell. No, 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 I don't. Shot a bad pole. Asshole! You can't kick me all the way over here out of the fucking ocean. Shut the hell up, you idiot. Hey, he's turning away. Better fucking leave. That's our number one. Yeah! What scream scared me? Sounds like a creature. He probably is a damn squid out of the I swear. That's our number one. I already said, yeah. Screaming. Not scared. What is the scariest thing you've ever experienced? The scariest <laughs> thing I ever experienced. <laughs> yes. uh, a four-headed moose. What? What the hell? You saw a four-headed? What the hell? I think it's probably high or drunk or something. I think so. Wetzel. I show you a picture uh -huh. of it. I got it on my phone. They gotta see this shit. Hell. That's an alien. Oh well. Aloysius little pothole. Bachelor number two. <laughs> Mr. Clean! Mr. Clean! Yeah. What's the scariest thing you've ever experienced? The bunnies. First they're cute, and well, then they're the hay evil. Hay oh, oh, I hear they set sure your house on fire. No. Okay. Huh? Yes, I heard. <laughs> That's your number three. Yes, honey. What is the scariest thing you've ever experienced? The scariest thing. Yes. Yeah, I'm a ghost busty on Genie <laughs> Sims channel. I get scared sometimes on there. Some of them fucking ghosts can be scary as hell. Tempers is fucking scarier and hell in the taste. You fucking bitch <laughs> slut. Fucking murdering bitch what she is. I ain't just from hearsay. I met her fucking ass. I know. Yeah, she's fucking the most terrifying thing I ever saw. I had to say temperance. Hell yeah. Mmm. Alright, Slender Woman, go with your last question. Ooh, y'all know what the last question is. <laughs> Bachelor number one. Yep. What was your worst date ever? My worst date ever. <laughs> was it Bobby Sue Crawfish? She had T so buck, she looked like a damn horse on steroids. She smoked the biggest, fattest, fucking stinkiest damn cigars you ever fucking smelt in your dang life. I felt, I was drunk as hell one night. She came up to me and said, you want to dance? I said, sure, why not? So we went up there and I danced a two-step to boot scooting boogie. Every time she boot scooted, I boogied a little bit farther away. 
Her teeth almost All fucking right. chomped down my no, fucking damn mean, lips. She was so damn close to me, scared the shit north. out of me. Huh? Oh, Next thing I nice. know, her big ass fucking started fucking slipping and sliding. She barf food in the damn floor of slicker and shit. She landed on top of me and I went flying across the damn fucking bar. Landed on two fucking bottles of damn champagne on the bar. One of them scared me in the fucking ass. The other one fucking scared me in the fucking underarm. I was pinned to the fucking bar for fucking two damn hours. Everybody done. Nobody even knows how I was there. Everybody's too fucking drunk and busy, damn boots scooting and boogieing. That's my worst date ever. Oh what? shit, that's terrible. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's why I said never <laughs> date a fucking buck two cigar smoking damn woman. That's our number two. What was your worst date ever? Mr. Clean! Mr. Clean! Yeah! My worst date ever was with Nicole. Uh oh. What? Yeah! Huh. We went on a date? We did? A long time ago. Let me tell you the horror story that is Nicole. We went out on a very nice cleaning date. And she looked at me and said, Oh my God, Mr. Clean. I came here to eat. I'm hungry. Now you're going to do is show me how to clean with your stupid Mr. Clean stuff. I said, Oh my God. I can't believe you just said that. My stuff is not stupid to clean with. It's amazing. It cleans so well. She said, well, I didn't come out here to sit there and learn how to clean with Mr. Clean. I'm leaving. I said, how dare you? Then leave. That was my worst day ever. Oh, God. That's fucking hilarious. I had no... There you go, Nicole. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, we did go on a date. I told you. Yeah, the last time he was there. He said I was very nice. I lied. How did you lie? It was the first time we ever went on a date. You, if a woman does not clean, she's not worth dating. No, I just didn't want to learn about cleaning. We could have done that another time. You're stupid in hell. She's fucking beautiful, damn woman. I'd whoop your damn ass. I wanted to eat dinner and stuff and talk and get to know you better. That's what a normal date's about. Don't tell him, I swear. I don't whoop his damn ass. I don't give a shit. Yeah, man. You fucking shut your damn mouth. You bought it, butt <laughs> Hey, Mom! That's my friend, Mom! Arlene, Mom! Don't talk to her like that! Or I'll stick your dad clean and stuff up your back home! You tell her, Mom! Heck yeah! Well, I see the audience is lively today! Oh, a very nice boy! I ain't here in trouble, Mr. Clean. Roar! I won't be fucking ass. I don't give a shit. Hell yes, dude. Let's go. Where's my damn whiskey? I'm white, Miss Virginia Woman. My goodness. Bachelor number three. Yes, honey. What is your worst date ever? <clears throat> and kick Mr. Clean. Oh! Let me see here. My worst date ever was... Her name was Zebra. Zebra, Zebra Stripewell. Oh. oh, my God, Ed. Really? I don't make these fucking names up. That's fucking what her name was, Zebra Stripewell. I can't help the fucking named her. I keep telling you people. I'm Ed Polk. I don't lie. Why? Because I'm Ed Polk. Ed Polk doesn't lie. There you go. Anyway, we went to the fucking drag races one night. I was all excited. My cousin, uh, Jacob Partswell was going to fucking uh, race his damn fucking uh, race car. He had a fucking purple car. That was fucking... It was just fucking... You wouldn't believe how this fucking car looked. It was just amazing looking. It was the most beautiful purple I ever laid eyes on. Anyway, we's all sitting there in the damn pit and shit. We got to go pit sitting, sitting because you know, he was there. And we sitting there in the pit and we's watching all those guys get the damn cars ready and shit. That was exciting as hell. I loved it. Of course, I'm not really much on watching races as hell. All he do is fucking drive around the damn circle and shit. The only thing I like about the fucking shit is goddamn wrecks. That's what's exciting. When a fucking tire can fly over your fucking head, that's exciting hell. Hell yes. Anyway, we sat in there and she had on this pink, pink fucking, fucking jumpsuit fucking thing. It's hotter than fucking hell outside. 
It's long sleeve. She had all these fucking pink boots. Not that I don't like pink, I do, but I told you, you better wear something uh, older and comfortable because it's hotter than hell out there in them pits. Anyway, she's sitting there fanning herself, going, Oh, God, hey, I'm just sitting here burning up. I need a fan. I said, Well, I, I said, uh, <clears throat> There's a fan over here. I said, I'll go get him and plug it in for you, but it's kind of. It's kind of stupid because we're sitting outside, but I will do that because I'm a nice man. <clears throat> so I plug the damn fan in. It's one of them fucking turbo fucking fans. I had no idea it fucking blow that hard. <laughs> anyway, I turned the motherfucker on. And off she fucking flew in the gosh damn air. Pink jumpsuit. I mean, she was floating like fucking 50 feet up in the fucking air. Holding on the damn roof of the fucking pit. I said, oh my god, I gotta save her. I went over trying to get to the fucking fan. It kept blowing me down. I was rolling all the gosh damn racetrack. Cars fucking going around me. Class fucking crashing into walls. And one fucking fucking car flew the gosh damn fucking audience. Some old lady, I don't know, she lost her fucking wig. It was awful. Damn tired her in the fucking head. Her damn wig flew off. I know some fucking ball-headed man behind her. He was happy because he had her. She got pissed off. Trying to get her fucking wig back. They started fighting the damn fucking stands. She got pissed off. Threw a fucking damn bear in his damn face. And I went all over the damn wig. And she, she got fucking pissed off. Her wig was full of fucking bear. Man, she the one fucking threw it in the first place. Anyway, finally my cousin goes over. Turns the fucking turbo fan off. She comes dropping down out of the fucking air. Lands on the gosh damn fucking big old box of fucking popcorn. Well, that's needless to say, she she limped off, gave me the finger, and kicked me in the fucking shin a couple times, and I never saw her again, so that was an awful fucking date, I have to say. Holy shit, Ed! Good God! We'll be right back after this fucking brief gosh damn Mr. Clean commercial. Alright, thank you so much for that damn Mr. Clean commercial. Mr. Clean, shut up. Alright, Slender Woman. Would you like to see Bachelor number one? Mm. Bachelor number two? No, thank you. Or Bachelor number three? I'll pick Ed. Hell yeah, I get your game. Hell yeah. Hey, you wanna go back to Apple Week, Slender Woman? Yes. Oh, you can eat ribs. Heck yeah. Ah. Alright, sweetie, let's go. <laughs> well, looks so like sad. Ed and, and Slender Woman's gonna have another nice little date. I think they're good friends. Yeah. We well, are. We're great so fans. Huh? Stay tuned next week, folks, for an all new mating game. I'm Teak uh, Farspells. Uh, have a nice uh, evening! Uh, Did you just make Ed cry? No, I was telling him what happened with, with Norman. Oh, well, uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tink. I have to say, Slender Woman is a lovely lady, and Ed, well, he's just Ed. What can I say? I did, I did let Norman take me on a date last time, but he hurt my feelings. I'm sorry to hear that, sweetie. Who knows what amazing people we'll have on next week? You never know who we're going to come up with. Thank you so much, everyone, and stay tuned next week, folks, for an all-new mating game. And what do we say? Goodbye, everybody. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm gonna whoop your damn ass, the cow. Sorry, Ed. <laughs> Fucking paused it on my hell yeah. I always say hell yeah. I'm sorry, Ed. I forgive you this time. Here's some ham. Right, I'm, it's fine. I'm fine. Thank you.